You've heard of stealth planes, but have you heard of stealth ships? The USS Zumwalt is the literal flagship of three similar battleships that represent the most technologically advanced on the planet. Not only are the ships stealthy and packed with advanced tech, but they're also huge. The USS Zumwalt is the largest destroyer ever made and at a similarly massive cost. Let's find out how much it cost, as well as lots more detailed information on this amazing ship. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The USS Zumwalt was named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, who was the youngest chief of naval operations in US history. The ship is a guided missile destroyer, which means it was designed to provide anti-aircraft support to the U.S. Navy's fleet. There are three Zumwalt-class battleships, Zumwalt, Monsoor, and Johnson, and their origins come from the early 1990s. During the 80s, vintage Iowa-class battleships from World War II were reactivated and returned to duty. This was to support Marine Corps amphibious landings using the ship's massive guns. The problem was these were large, expensive to operate, and used a lot of manpower. The Navy wanted them gone as soon as the Cold War ended at the start of the 90s. But this left a hole in the shape of big weaponry to support seaborne invasions. All that was left were MK-45 5-inch guns mounted on guided missile cruisers and destroyers. There was a need for something larger to fill the gap the Iowa-class ships had left behind once they'd been decommissioned. The incident that really gave the new ships a mandate was 9-11. These attacks gave a reason to strike terrorist bases, training camps, and weapons of mass destruction far out to sea, while simultaneously providing covering fire for Marines hitting the beach. Firepower was the priority when it came to the new battleships, so they were built around its weaponry. This was to be a 155mm Advanced Gun Systems, or AGS. These were rapid-fire 6-inch guns that fired a new artillery shell, the Long Range Land Attack Projectile, or LR LAP. Traditional guns fired shells on a ballistic trajectory, then small adjustments were made until the shells walk onto their target. Instead, the $50,000 LR LAP projectile would be able to hit first time at ranges of up to 83 nautical miles. Although the 6-inch shells lacked the power of its 16-inch counterpart, the LR lap would, more importantly, hit the target every time. Another advantage was that the advanced gun system would also fire up to 10 rounds per minute, with constant adjustments of the trajectory so that several could land in the impact zone at the same time. Once the weaponry was confirmed, it was time to design the rest of the ship, and this was done to hide from radar as much as possible. The Arleigh Burke class destroyers were the first ships to incorporate radar signature reducing techniques, but the Zumwalt destroyers were going to be built from the ground up with this in mind. This meant a new design was needed. This included a so-called tumble home bow that angled outward toward the water. This is in contrast with traditional ship hulls where the bow angles downward toward the waterline. The guns themselves were also hidden with two advanced gun systems designed to hide their 31 and a half foot long barrels until the moment of firing. This means that the turrets are only two metallic lumps on the forecastle. The ship's superstructure hides its main features so it can give the profile of a small fishing boat. This includes the bridge, mast, radars, antennas, and other electronics which are encased in a single giant trapezoidal tower comprising only six smooth flat surfaces. The result of this is that the 610 foot long warships can pose as something a lot smaller. Due to its size and weaponry, the Zumwalts are very power hungry. There has to be enough juice to cover off the weapons, sensors, shipwide computer systems, and life support systems. And at the time of design, there needed to be enough leftover to future-proof for energy-intensive electromagnetic railguns and laser systems. Also, the ship is moved through the water by two nickel-aluminum bronze propellers. These are 18 feet tall each 
and can drive the ship to a top speed of just over 33 knots, or 38 miles per hour. With all of these power requirements, it was clear a bespoke solution was needed to deliver this power to the ship in an intelligent way. The result was an integrated power system, or IPS, courtesy of two Rolls-Royce MT-30 main turbine generators. These are ocean-worthy versions of the jets that power a Boeing 777. These turbines contribute 34 and a half megawatts of power each. Add to that the auxiliary power, which comes from Rolls-Royce RR4500 auxiliary turbine generators, capable of providing 3.9 megawatts each. Overall, the ship can provide 78 megawatts of electricity, which is enough for over 50,000 US homes. The Zumwalts are equipped with a multitude of features needed for warfare. They have 80 Mark 57 vertical launch systems, each with a silo capable of storing SM-2, SM-6, and evolved Sea Sparrow and air defense missiles, ASROC anti-submarine rockets, and LRASM anti-ship missiles. These silos have the ability to mix and match weaponry to suit whatever mission is needed. They also have the feature of dispersing with a single missile magazine to protect from explosions that could cause damage to the ship's deep interior. The battleship is equipped with the most advanced sensor technology available. Its sensors give a commanding view of the battlefield from above and below the surface of the ocean. The ANSPY-3 multifunction radar is an X-band phased array radar. The reported range of this is a massive 200 miles. There's also sonar to scan for submarines and torpedoes, which is bow-mounted. A retractable cable can also be towed to listen for underwater attacks in the rear hemisphere. This means that it's clear of the noise generated by the ship's propulsion system. There's further weaponry in addition to the large gun systems that we reviewed earlier. The ship has two Mark 46 30mm rapid-fire guns for close-in defense against drones, small aircraft, and small boats. And recent plans are to include a powerful laser on deck. As the purpose of these ships has changed, so too have the plans for their weaponry. The Zumwalts appear to be morphing into long-range strike platforms equipped with hypersonic weapons and laser guns. Laser technology has developed at a significant rate over recent years, so it's no wonder then that the Navy is suggesting to use this on their most powerful ships. Lasers are quiet, and therefore stealthy, but they are also capable of precise and scalable attacks. This means that laser bands can be combined to strengthen the attack and increase power, or instead be set to stun or disable an enemy asset without needing a full kill. It's not the first time that lasers have been added to ships with the requirement to strike missiles, small vessels, and drones. The Navy installed a new Dazzler laser weapon aboard its USS Dewey destroyer to track and destroy attacking enemy drones, according to a December 2019 report. Following criticism of expanding cost of the ship's weaponry, the Navy has also taken a change in direction with what they're firing to say consistent with the Zumwalt's new purpose. The destroyers will now carry Maritime Strike Tomahawk, or MST. This is the latest version of the Tomahawk land attack cruise missile. These missiles include upgrades to previous Tomahawks in service, which give the ability to strike moving ships with a 1,000-pound blast fragmentation high-explosive warhead. MST is all about taking out ships at a range of around 1,000 miles. For more wanted visitors, the Zumwalts have hangar and a generous amount of deck space for MH-60R Seahawk helicopters and MQ-8C Fire Scout drones. In the event of an attack or an accident, advanced damage control systems include telerobotic fire nozzles for putting out fires where needed on the ship. The USS Zumwalt and its brothers represent the cutting edge of battleships, and although its purpose has changed over the years, due to criticism and changing battle conditions, the Zumwalt is arguably the most powerful ship in the world and a welcome addition to the Navy's fleet. And all this for the cost of $4.4 billion. What are your thoughts on the USS Zumwalt? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like 
and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.